I married Joan. What a girl, what a world, what a life. Oh, I married Joan. What a mind, love is blind, what a wife to do. Giddy and gay, all day she keeps my heart laughing. Never know where her brain is blown. To each his own, can deny that. come to the bazaar with Brad and me. Why, I, 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 I woke up with... Oh, well, Joan, after all, I don't like to be tagging along with you and Brad all the time. A woman likes to show up with a man of her own. Why, Aunt Vera, I didn't know that you had men on your mind. Well, only occasionally. Occasionally? Yes, you know, during the day and at night. <laughs> Aunt Vera, we're just going to have to find you a man. Oh, now stop it, Joe. Uh, what kind of a man do you like? Uh, short, tall, uh, fat, skinny, old, young? That sounds nice. <laughs> oh, boy. Let me see now. Uh, where are we possibly going to find a nice, single, middle-aged man who makes a living? <laughs> Gather up a few of these. Oh, dear. I wonder who that can be. Good afternoon, madam. I am Arthur. I live next door. Oh, won't you come in? Thank you. <laughs> I'm Joan Stevens, and uh, this is my Aunt Vera. How do you do? <laughs> oh. <laughs> We've been making a few pies. Uh, so I see. So you're the new neighbor who took the Johnson's place. Oh, I beg your pardon, madam. I am only Arthur. I am employed by your new neighbor. I am his personal manservant. That is to say, a gentleman's gentleman. Oh, a gentleman's gentleman. <laughs> yes. Uh, we should like very much to borrow a few things, as the master and I are not quite settled yet. The master and you? You mean your boss has no Mrs. Boss? Oh, heavens no. Senor Rodriguez is a bachelor. A bachelor? Uh, how very interesting, Aunt Vera. Yes. Uh, Senor Rodriguez. Uh, yes, madam. Uh, we are from Spain. Oh, and I love anything Spanish. So what can we do for you? We should like very much to trouble you for a cup of sugar. May we? Oh, may we? Come on in here. Uh, tell me, Artie, uh, is the uh, senor attractive? Attractive, madam. We are handsome. <laughs> How old are we? We are 51. Together or one at a time? My master, the senor, is 51. Take the whole thing. Thank you. Uh, and now, if you could possibly spare an egg or two? Of course. Uh, tell me, uh, is the uh, senor well-to-do? Well-to-do, madam. We are a retired diamond broker. Take a dozen. <laughs> Thank you. And now, a spot of coffee, if you don't mind. Coffee coming up. A uh, drip or regular? Drip. <laughs> have you tried our meat department? Well, we might have a go at a bit of bacon, yes. 51, huh? Mm. And uh, is the senor still interested in the uh, ladies? 
interested in the ladies, madam. It is unavoidable. Yes, yes. Madam, we do not kiss and tell. <laughs> Be my guest. Thank you. However, madam, we are very suspicious of American ladies. Oh? Yes, we have been told that they are very mercenary and are constantly on the search for rich husbands to support them. Yes, we are a very careful man where the opposite sex is concerned. Oh. Well, I'd like to call on Miss Sonor anyway, you know, uh, as a neighbor. I don't advise it, madam. We dislike becoming friendly with the neighbors. Why? They borrow things. <laughs> <laughs> How do you like that? Senor Rodriguez sounds romantic. Aunt Vera, congratulations. For what? Senor Rodriguez is going to be your date for the bazaar tonight. <laughs> Aunt Vera, you're a knockout. But Joan, I don't like the idea of borrowing Edna's mink coat. Well, you heard what Arthur said. Senor Rodriguez is afraid that women are after him for his money. But Joan, and I... who would think that a woman in a mink coat would need any man's money? And this diamond ring, why, it must be worth $500. 5000 $5,000? <laughs> $5, <laughs> don't be silly. But $5,000? Well... Sure, Senor Rodriguez is a diamond broker. Nothing would impress him more. Joan, where did you get it? I charged it at Brown's. Charged it? Now, don't worry. I'm taking it back in the morning before Brad even finds out about it. <laughs> well, all right. But there's one little insignificant detail. How do we beat the Senor? I sent him a mash note from you to him. Joan didn't. I'll bet he's reading it right now. And from the minute I saw you move in, Senor Rodriguez, I knew you were going to be something different and special in my wealthy young life. Why don't we get better acquainted? <laughs> Signed, your next door admirer. Arturo. Yes, sir. Who sent us this? Uh, the blonde lady next door. The blonde? My favorite color. And who is she? I have ascertained from another neighbor, sir, that she is the wife of a Judge Bradley Stephen. Incredible. These American women. Arturo, we are very angry. Yes, senor. Yes. No man deserves such a deceitful woman. It is shameful, deplorable. Is she attractive? Not too bad, sir. Then there is only one thing to do. The code of a gentleman demands that I inform the husband of his wife's disgraceful conduct. I will pay him a visit immediately. Very good, sir. You and your ideas, cooking up a romance with Aunt Vera with that Spanish gentleman next door. Well, Aunt Vera could use a little romance. When are you going to learn to let nature take its course? Wherever a man is concerned, there never was a woman who didn't give nature a helping kick in the pants. Well, why do you need help? Brad, you promised now. If you'll take my advice, you'll let Aunt Vera do her own kicking. There he is. Put your coat on, dear. <laughs> Hurry. Are you ready, Aunt Vera? Not quite, dear. Well, hurry up. He's here. I knew that note would bring him. Senor Rodriguez? Oh, won't you come in? Senora. Uh, I'd like you to meet my husband. <laughs> you are just Stevens? Well, yes, yes, I am. How do you do, senor? And uh, welcome to Stone Drive. How do you do? Well, I should say so. I can't tell you what a pleasure it is having you for our new neighbor, believe me. Uh, won't you sit down? Uh, oh, how continental. <laughs> Mrs. Stevens, I do not quite know how to begin. I am here because it is my duty. It is very painful for me to be here. Painful? Yes, senor. 
this note. I... I am very upset about it. Oh, oh, well, that... Well, just because my wife, out of the goodness of her heart, tried to start a little romance is no reason for you to be disturbed. What's wrong with a little romance between neighbors? <laughs> you mean he knows? Well, of course. I wouldn't think of doing anything behind my husband's back. And you, Kaplu? Of course. I found Ghana. There's a miracles I do not understand them. <laughs> well, possibly we are a little more direct than in your country. But honestly, senor, once you get to know her, you'll have a lot of fun with her. <laughs> yes, there's still a lot of life left in the old gal. Oh, I should say there is. <laughs> oh, I found Ghana. <laughs> Well, this is between you and my wife. Honey, I'm going to run along and get some air. <laughs> yes. Since you have this arrangement with your husband, then the honor is saved. And I see that my misgivings were unnecessary. Senora, I am at your service. <laughs> I'll go right upstairs and get my aunt. Oh, no, senora. Do not leave me now, please. Why, don't you want to meet my aunt? Later, perhaps. But first, there is the business at hand. Huh? Oh, senora. I must say that I find the blonde the most attractive woman. <laughs> she is my favorite. Oh, well, that's too bad. And you, senora. You are so very blonde. Well, thank you. I did go at the beauty parlor today, and I've got a new girl, and she has some stuff now. I'm telling you that you didn't... Senora, our first kiss. Come, Senora. You are irresistible, Senora. Oh, I, Paradoric! Senora, your eyes, they are magnificent. Now, Senor Rod, 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 old boy, old boy now, Rod. I must admit that you're not to be by surprise, but in Rome, do as the Romans do. So go find yourself a Roman. <laughs> <laughs> I caught you at last. I caught you. Oh, fine. And now it's your turn. You go hide and I'll look for you, huh? Ah, I like a girl when she becomes shy because then it is a challenge. A challenge that Rodriguez never finished to me. Senora, stop! You come some one step nearer, you mad matador, you, and I'll gore you with this slipper. Well, I must say that I cannot understand the senora's change of heart. I find it most insulting. A good night, senora. Good night, senor. Wait. Good night, senor. Ay, Pangana. Good evening. I'm sorry, Aunt Vera. Well, where is he? Oh, I'm sorry, Aunt Vera, but I'm afraid it's all off. And are you lucky? Lucky? Why? What happened? Well, you've heard of the good neighbor policy? Hands across the sea? Mm -hmm. Oh, this boy really had the hands for it. <laughs> Well, uh, haven't you got a kiss for your hard-working husband? All right, dear, what have I done now? Oh, darling, excuse me, it's not you. <laughs> oh, it's Aunt Vera. All right, what's the matter with Aunt Vera? Oh, she's not coming to the bazaar with us because she hasn't got a date. Oh, look, honey, you tried. Uh, here's something to cheer you up. Here's a funny one. You know, today I, I got a bill from bronze. A bill for a diamond ring for $5,000. Imagine them making a mistake like that. Some poor sap has a silly wife who charged a $5,000 diamond ring. Isn't that a riot? Joan, you're, you're, you're not laughing. Well, don't you think it's funny they're making a mistake like that? They did make a mistake. Didn't they? <laughs> oh, it's no mistake. Fred. Jones, why did you buy a $5,000 diamond ring? Oh, darling, don't get excited. Be calm. Well, all right, all right. I'll be calm. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be very calm. I'll, I'll be as calm as... Why should I be calm? 
If you bought that diamond ring, you have not only lost a husband, but you have made an enemy for life. I'm trying to tell you, dear, I didn't buy it. Oh, well, well, thank goodness. I charged it. Well, you charged... What's the difference? Well, I only did it for Aunt Vera so she could flash it in front of Senor Rodriguez. I'm going to take it back in the morning. Oh, you're going to take it back? Well, well, that's different. But look, Joan, don't ever do a thing like that. That's a very valuable item, so you'd better let me take care of it. <laughs> don't you think I'm competent enough to take care of those things myself? No. I just wanted to get your opinion. All right, then. Here it is. Joan. 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 Now, Brad, dear, dear, don't get excited. I know just where it is. I know just where I put it, darling. With the sweetheart, the lover boy, the angel puss. Where? Well, what am I getting so silly about? I can lead you right to it. Start leading. <laughs> you see, I was making pies, and I took the ring off, and I uh, put it in. I put it in. I put it in the refrigerator <laughs> uh, when I went to get the butter. Uh, you need butter for making pies, you know. And I probably, uh, probably uh, tidied up the house a bit. And I calmly walked over to the flower can. Concentrate. Now, think hard, honey. When do you remember last having the, the diamond ring? Honey, think, think, think. I distinctly remember having it when I was putting the apples in the pies. <laughs> Then you must have baked the ring into one of the pies. Yeah. Where are the pies? At the bazaar. At the bazaar? Well, what are we waiting for? Come on! Well, well, it's so nice seeing you again. Well, yes, it is. Well, yeah, but what I mean is when you haven't seen one for someone in so long, it's so nice seeing them again, because that's the wonderful thing about seeing them again, particularly if you haven't seen them again in such a long time, because that's the pleasure of seeing one. I mean, I think, because after all, when you see one, it's, uh, yeah. Well, I'll never. Yes, well, I, I know it's so nice seeing you again. <laughs> well, Horace, old boy. Fanny or Cypress, all right. <laughs> I beg your pardon. My name is Philip. Fanny? Uh, well, the I... very idea. I could have sworn that you were Fanny. Of course, I, I never had. Oh, my boy. I just... I just... <laughs> oh, Entertainment for bizarre ma magic trick, cigarette trick, very interesting. Here, go there, it's gone, you see? Is that smoke coming out of the ear? <laughs> nice consistency, and then there are apples. There was. <laughs> Hi there, Jack. <laughs> No trouble at all. Let's go.
you made the public announcement. Oh, I guess it wasn't in the pies. I, I wonder if it could have fallen into the cream chicken. $5,000. Oh, I'm sorry, Brad. Well, it's only $5,000. $5, but I'll make it up to you. I won't buy a thing for 10 years. Not a stitch of clothing, not a bobby pin, not a bite of food will pass my lips. <laughs> Too. Well, what's wrong? Oh, Aunt Vera, I lost the ring. Lost it? Well, how could you? I returned it this afternoon. <laughs> you returned it? Say that again. I returned it this afternoon. I found it in there oh, on the yard. Oh, I found the ring. I found the ring. I found the ring. Oh, and honey, you're all dressed up. Well, I couldn't go to the opera in just any old ray. You went to the opera? I thought you said you weren't going out tonight. <laughs> well, I wasn't until he invited me. He? Who? Who he? Who? Who? Well, he... Good evening, Judge. <laughs> Arthur. You left your gloves in my car, Ducky. Thank you. <laughs> well, it looks like Vera's got herself a gentleman's gentleman. Gentleman's gentleman? Are you kidding? If he's anything like his master, Vera's got herself a wolf's wolf. <laughs> Why a girl, what a world. 